Hey you guys, so today I wanted to do a really useful day to night transition look. In terms of the shadows, I used everything from the Urban Decay Naked Basics palette. It's a really convenient little palette that you can just throw in your bag when you know you have somewhere to go after work and you really don't have time to go home and redo everything. This is a really useful transition. If you guys want to know how you can get a really nice everyday look and learn how to make an easy transition to the night look, just keep watching this video. Okay, so starting off with the day look, we're going to be taking the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion and applying that all over our lids to get ready for eyeshadow. I already applied my foundation and everything, so this is really just your eyes and your lips that we're working on. Now I'm going to be taking Max 217 brush and the color Naked 2 and applying that all over your lids. This is like a light grayish brownish sort of color. It's a really nice base color for this type of everyday sort of look. It blends out really nicely and it's kind of subtle just to give it a little something. Next we're going to be taking, using the same brush, the color Foxy, which is like a yellow based cream color and we're just applying that over our lid, really focusing on the brow bone and kind of just buffing everything out. Now I'm taking the Deluxe Crease Brush by Real Techniques and the color Faint, which is a darker brownish grayish color and really just working that into our crease and making sure that everything's blended out nicely. You want to focus on the outer corner too, but really just the crease. Now we're going to be taking Max 224, the fluffy brush, and the color Venus, which is a more of a shimmery highlight color, and just highlighting our brow bones and blending everything out nicely. You want to make sure everything comes all together. Now we're going to be taking the Smolder Eye Coal by MAC and just applying that to our waterline. And you don't want to do it too heavy, just to line it a little bit. Now I'm using MAC's Black Track and their 266 brush and doing a quick liner on top. Again, you don't want it to be too intense because you want to be able to transition the look later on. Next, we're going just to be curling our lashes, and for the mascara, I'm going to be using CoverGirl's Bombshell Mascara because it is a mascara that's meant to be layered on. So it's perfect for this type of look where you need to layer on mascara over and over. This comes with two steps, so I'm just adding both one and two. Now for the daytime look, I think what will look really pretty is this NYX Mega Shine Lip Gloss in the color beige. No, it's not beige. It's a nice, soft baby pink, and I just think it brings everything together for this type of day look. Now, going into the night, we're using the same palette, and we're taking the color Venus, that shimmery highlight color, and the detailer brush by Real Techniques, and just highlighting the inner corner of our eyes. Now, I'm going to be taking the Deluxe Crease Brush again by Real Techniques, and the color Crave, which is the darkest color in this palette and applying that into the crease and outer corner of the eye. You're applying this directly over the makeup that we already have on because again this is a transition look. You really don't have to start all over again. It's building on top of what we already have. Now taking the MAC 224, the fluffy brush again, and the color Venus and intensifying the highlight just under the brow and buffing everything out. Now we are going to intensify the liner again and winging it out a little bit to give it more of a dramatic sort of look. You're going to add more of the eyeliner also on the waterline, making it a little bit more intense as well. Taking that same detailer brush, you're going to be taking the color Crave, again the darkest color in the palette, and just lining the lower lash line to smoking everything out and giving it kind of a soft and smoky finish. Again, taking the bombshell mascara, you want to layer on the mascara over and over again just to intensify it. Now, don't layer it too much because then it's going to get spidery, but this mascara is meant to be buildable, so it's okay. For the lips, I'm taking Nude Illusion by Maybelline Elixir. This is a beautiful, perfect nude lip that I think goes perfectly with this more dramatic, smoky eye sort of look. Now, if you want an intense lip as well, you can use a violet color like this. This is Violet Frenzy by Revlon and add that instead. 
I wouldn't do a lip that's much darker than this because you still want it to be nice and balanced out. I hope you guys enjoyed this and thank you so, so much for watching. Thank you. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up, leave any question or comments below, be sure to subscribe, and as always, stay happy, you guys.